Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Expect to be thrilled, excited, and my personal favorite, scared even a little bit by some of today's clips. Without wasting too much of your precious time, let's jump right into it. While walking through the woods, someone came across a strange tiny creature lying on the floor. Not knowing what it was, they took a picture and shared it online. Now check it out for yourself. It looks like a seed germinating. But here's the interesting part. It has what seems like a big head and a small face. And you can even make out what looks like a body with tiny arms and legs. Quite the curious creature, wouldn't you agree? Some of my team members argue that the creature looks like an extraterrestrial due to its alien-like appearance. What do you think, though? Could this truly be a resident from another world? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Do you believe in mermaids? Depending on your answer, I'd say today is your lucky day. Check out this footage from a beach where something unusual was spotted on a rock in the middle of the ocean. The creature had an unmistakable fishtail, but as it moved, a human-like upper torso with long black hair and arms became apparent. The mysterious being then dove into the water, leaving behind a trail of questions. Could that have been a real mermaid, or was it just a hoax? There are various depictions of these fishy creatures, and some fossils of creatures suspected to be them exist. However, there has not been an official declaration that these creatures do exist. Despite that, there are new sightings almost every day somewhere on the planet. Having seen the footage, what do you think it might be? Now in this next footage, a security camera captures a ghostly apparition roaming in the dead of night. The entity had a human form, a head, arms, legs, everything. However, it wasn't tangible like a human. It looked like white smoke taking the form of a human. I know, I know, the whole thing is quite strange. It has a posture like that of an elderly person. It moves with slow, haunting steps bent at the waist. Despite its appearance, we have to wonder, is this spectral figure on a haunting mission, or does it harbor unfinished business that ties it to the realms of the living? Speaking of unfinished business, this footage was taken in the ER. In the clip, a worker at the hospital hears some unusual sounds coming from an empty room in the ER. As they investigate, they stumble upon something quite baffling. The ceiling above one of the beds in the room had unexpectedly opened, and what's more, there was no wind in the room, yet the open ceiling was moving and producing eerie noises. Is it possible that what's happening is the ghostly appearance of a patient who, for reasons we don't understand, is seeking recognition or resolution beyond the boundaries of the living world? It's a well-known fact that a hospital is a place where lots of deaths have happened, so it's not a surprise that strange situations happen there. Night shifts, in particular, have become the backdrop for many stories involving strange events narrated by nurses who have witnessed the unexplained. While strange, this is just one of the many strange occurrences that happen in hospitals around the world. Any health worker here to share an experience? High above the vast Polish skies, an enigma unfolded as keen eyes aboard a flight beheld a peculiar sight. You see it, don't you? A mysterious vertical object defying earthly norms. The upper section loomed larger while its lower counterpart held an intriguing diminutiveness. Now, we're no experts, but conventional human craft rarely boasts such perplexing features. Could it be a lost satellite, a secretive government drone, or perhaps the intergalactic equivalent of a cosmic tourist? In China, there's this footage capturing a rather unusual sight. The night sky painted in a deep shade of blood red. Wow, 
I know there are a lot of bizarre ideas and theories running through your mind just from seeing this, but relax. Julius thinks that instead of looking at the paranormal, there could be a more logical reason for what we're seeing. He argues that what we are seeing could be nothing more than the result of the air pollution that China is known for thanks to it becoming the manufacturing hub of the world's largest corporation. Elevated levels of particular matter in the air tend to disperse light, particularly during sunrise or sunset, creating an unusual red tint. Yet as we delve into this crimson mystery, the question lingers. Is there more to it than just pollution affecting the light? Is this spectral show solely a result of Earth pollutants, or does it suggest something beyond our current comprehension? A group of friends were out for drinks when they noticed one friend getting a bit too drunk. Amused by her laughter, they decided to film her antics for some later laughs. Little did they know things were about to take a chilling turn. <laughs> As they captured her laughter on camera, the woman suddenly froze, sending a wave of concern through her friends. They called out to her, but she remained unresponsive for a while until she eventually snapped out of it. You can see how confused she was when she came back. Her friends later asked her what had happened, and she was shy about behaving that way and her response would shock you. She said she felt like she was possessed. However, some netizens believe that this is a typical situation of a glitch in the Matrix. Some skeptics, on the other hand, say it was a neurological episode. It's quite a bizarre and unsettling moment, leaving everyone involved shaken by the unexpected and eerie incident. <laughs> if you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. It's a mix of fascination and terror when the unknown lurks in the depths of the woods. A person strolling through the trees suddenly notices a pair of glowing eyes fixated on them from the shadows. Intrigued and cautious, they decide to capture the mysterious watcher with their camera. As the lens focuses, a large creature with dark fur comes into view, peering directly at the camera. Concealed within a thicket of trees, it's challenging to discern its features. However, the creature's massive shoulders hint at its substantial size. The face remains mysterious, sparking speculation among onlookers. Some suggest it might be a dogman, a creature of folklore and myth, while others lean toward a more mundane explanation, proposing it could be a lost gorilla roaming the wilderness. What do you think it is? Venturing into a swamp under the cloak of night can be an eerie experience, and one brave soul decides to explore the murky unknown. Little did they anticipate what would unfold in the darkness. Out of nowhere, something emerged from the muddy waters. It was a humanoid creature. The creature wobbled as it got out of the mud with its back turned to the explorer filming. The once brave adventurer hightailed it out of there when it noticed the creature emerging from the water. Not so brave now, after all, huh? But what was that in the mud? Could it be a swamp monster or a skinwalker hiding out in the muddy waters? Skeptics think that it's all a hoax, but these days, you may never know. Now, what do we have here? Is it a tree shaped like a person lying face upwards on the ground? I don't know about you, but this looks very disturbing to me. Now, trees are known for their adaptability, but this one takes the cake. In certain cultures, you'd find beliefs that tie into the idea of people turning into trees. It's almost like a punishment for their wrongdoings. Looking at this, I'm tempted to believe that those beliefs are not merely myths after all. Imagine a person was transformed into this tree as a form of cosmic justice. You know what? Don't. I can't imagine someone going through that. What's more, it might just be an odd tree formation. Perhaps I'm reading more meaning into it than I ought to. No tanto. Ahí va. Vamos a ver. 
In the tranquil setting of a Mexican evening, an extraordinary event unfolded, captivating the attention of curious bystanders. A glowing orb was seen ascending into the sky. What made this event interesting was how the object acted as it ascended. At first, when the orb moved away from the Earth, it looked bigger and brighter, almost as though the distance made it shine more. As it got closer to the sky, it started getting smaller and its brightness faded into a soft glow which was expected, but then the unexpected happened. Instead of eventually fading away and disappearing, the orb rather grew bigger. It's strange enough that no one knows what it is or how it came to be. Seeing it behave this way just adds to the mystery surrounding it. What do you think? Could it be an alien, or do you have a more logical explanation? If you love black cats, I'm certain this security footage will have you thinking twice about them. Follow the black cat closely. It appears from the other side of the road and walks nonchalantly. People are walking by, but no one seems to pay attention to it. It passes through the space in the rails and walks to the corner of the building where there is what looks like rubbish on the ground. The cat lingers by the rubbish until, suddenly, the debris catches fire seemingly by some mystical force. Without any apparent concern, the feline then nonchalantly walks away, leaving behind the mysterious incident. Did this cat just magically set things ablaze? Some cultures think black cats are evil. While I have never understood and accepted that way of thinking, clips like this make me think that perhaps I might be wrong. What do you think? Let's delve into another mysterious incident. In a misty forest, someone captured a mysterious scene. While the creature is mostly hidden, we can still make out a silhouette. It appears to belong to a massive creature with wings surrounded by thick fog. What do you think this could be? I'm no avian expert, but I don't think there are many birds or any birds for that matter that look like this. Some who saw the footage, however, insist it's just a large bird. There is a small sect of individuals who believe we could be dealing with a dragon here. Dragons are mythical creatures, but if a cat can light a fire, then why can't we have a dragon out there? What do you guys also think this could be? Drop your suggestions in the comment section below. This next clip comes from Argentina, where the clouds had turned pink. Yeah, you heard that right. Pink. Just take a look at this. It's almost like some sort of Disney movie. However, amidst the enchantment, a question arises. What mysterious forces could be at play? Are these really clouds, or could there be something more ominous, like unhealthy fumes lingering in the air? One possibility is pollution. Yeah, the not-so-charming sight of human activities. Pollutants in the air can interact with sunlight in strange and beautiful ways, creating vibrant hues. On the flip side, nature has a few tricks too. Wildfires, volcanic activity, or even dust storms can spice things up in the atmosphere, turning a regular sky day into a breathtaking spectacle. So what do you think this could be? Pollution or something else entirely? Heading to Medellin, Colombia, our attention is drawn to an unusual sighting in the sky that has left a family perplexed. Be quiet, Brendan. Don't be annoying. I swear you have I to hope it's, be annoying. I hope it's a drone, bro. A peculiar craft resembling a saucer captured their gaze. What makes this sighting even more intriguing is the presence of a red glowing orb situated beneath the craft. As the video spreads, discussions about the source of this celestial visitor heat up. Some dive into intergalactic mysteries, entertaining the idea that we might not be alone. Others consider the possibility of advanced technologies not yet revealed to the public, gliding through the skies over Medellin. Both of these sound absurd. Given the nature of our world today, I wouldn't rule anything out. What do you think? Take a look at this girl. She has a lot of piercings in her mouth and braces. Her mouth almost looks like metal. How does she even eat? 
Just look at how the bands and contraptions look in her mouth. Doesn't it look scary? Are there plausible explanations? Do any of you know what's going on? Please do share. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a dragon after you now, would you? A man sees a strange beam of light coming from the sky as he is driving. The beam is this vibrant shade of green, and even the point in the sky where it originates is bathed in that mysterious glow. What could this be? Some ponder if it's a clandestine government experiment hidden away from prying eyes. Others go full sci-fi, speculating about an alien base camp, maybe for some intergalactic chat sessions. The secrecy surrounding the sighting location only fuels the flames of suspicion. Is it a deliberate effort to conceal the truth, or perhaps a precautionary measure to prevent undue panic? What do you think this is, though? Share your theories and thoughts in the comments section. All right, hold the phone. So there's this beach footage that's causing a bit of a stir. People are hanging out, enjoying the sand and surf, when suddenly these small mysterious white things start popping out of the beach sand. And here's the kicker. Within seconds, it looks like they've multiplied into hundreds, carpeting the beach floor. Now, the big question is, what on earth could these little things be? It's like a tiny invasion of the sand kind. Are there some undiscovered marine life making a surprise appearance, or could we be dealing with some alien beach creatures? While surfing on the ocean, a surfer came across these strange creatures in the water. They were different in the water. What could these be? While some lean toward a mundane interpretation, attributing them to mere debris adrift in the sea, others with a discerning eye draw parallels to the intricate patterns of a South American sea nettle. South American sea nettles are a species of jellyfish found in the waters of the South Atlantic Ocean particularly off the coast of South America. They're known for their distinctive bell-shaped and long trailing tentacles which can deliver a sting. What do you think? Jellyfish, debris, or something else? Here's a peculiar tale from the animal shelter. So this person strolls in, all set to adopt a furry friend. Normal, right? But hold on, because what they found wasn't your typical doggy pal. Look at this little guy first glance, he's all cute and cuddly, your usual shelter pup. But there's something off about that face. It's got a certain peculiar twist that makes you wonder, is that a skinwalker in doggy disguise? Now, we're not saying this pup has supernatural secrets, but hey, it does make you do a double take. Who knows, maybe it's just a quirky dog with an unconventional charm. Dolls can be pretty scary when they pull a Chucky on you, but this footage right here is a whole new level. In the footage, there is a pale-headed doll with messy hair. This doll already looks scary, but the rest of its body makes the whole scene very haunting. Its body is made of wood, like the recliner of a wooden chair, and it moves. There is a man even holding the wooden hand as the doll walks. I don't know about you, but everyone I've shown this to has found it very scary. After a lot of digging around, we found out that this was actually made by someone. We can't say who, but I don't think this is the type of doll I would buy and take home with me. What about you? While on a boat ride, a shark came sniffing around the boat. Now, I'm no marine biologist, but this shark seemed more like your nosy neighbor than a hungry predator. The person on the boat stays still while filming the dangerous creature. It swarmed around the boat, and at a point it attempted to bite at it, but thankfully gave up. Watching this, I couldn't help but wonder if the shark was either in need of a snack or perhaps had mistaken the boat for something else entirely. 
The shark eventually moved on, leaving the observer to ponder the unpredictability of these creatures. Maybe it was just an off day for the shark, or perhaps it had different plans than being a fearsome predator. Nature's surprising, isn't she? Thankfully, this surprise was the pleasant kind. So, there's this photo, right? A bluish glowing orb, and the story goes that someone's dad snapped the picture. Now, it's not your typical lens glare scenario because it's chilling behind a tree and beyond that tree, a good old cornfield. Looking at the close-up, it's got you scratching your head. Not your usual camera mishap or a reflection gone wild. This orb seems to have a mind of its own, playing hide-and-seek behind nature's greenery. Any thoughts on what this mysterious glowing sphere could be? It's got the intrigue of a sci-fi plot, but maybe there's a rational explanation waiting to be unveiled. What's your take on this luminous enigma behind the cornfield curtain? The concern about air pollution is reaching a critical point, and this footage is quite an eye-opener. They're labeling it a toxic cloud, and looking at it, you can't help but be alarmed. These brownish clouds hanging in the air are more than just thicker versions of your typical clouds. Now, the term toxic cloud usually rings an alarm bell for accidental releases of hazardous material, industrial mishaps, or full-on environmental disasters. It's not just a visual problem, but there are real health risks associated with breathing in this murky concoction. We're talking respiratory problems, irritated eyes and skin, a whole menu of health issues depending on what pollutants are in the mix. The fact that people are out there inadvertently inhaling this mess is definitely a cause for concern. It's not just wrong, it's a serious issue that needs attention. Now, this next footage is one that I have seen countless times, yet never been able to wrap my head around. It was recorded by a man going through the woods late at night, and I still don't understand why people do that. Anyway, on his way, he sees a strange figure ahead, which appears to be humanoid, but looks the farthest thing from anything human. It puzzled him, and he doesn't move. He points for a while and then moves towards it. When he's close enough, the footage ends, and that's it. Then you start to wonder, what was it? Why did all the footage end? Did he escape with his life? Well, we have the footage, so he probably did. But then again, what did he encounter? These are questions no one has answers to. However, some in the paranormal community who live in the same region as he does state that he encountered a djinn. For those unfamiliar with the term, a jinn or a genie is a supernatural being in Islamic mythology capable of shape-shifting and possessing magical powers. They are created from smokeless fire and exist parallel to humans, unseen in their daily lives. In folklore, they are known for granting wishes to those who summon or possess time. But their nature can be unpredictable and potentially malevolent, like the two in Aladdin. So what do you think? Personally, I don't know what to make of it. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you, so please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, as we shift gears from the enigmatic woods to the airy realm of a bus station, where the inexplicable continues to unfold. Our protagonist is a woman, standing with an unsettling stillness on one side of the train tracks, as though ensnared in a trance. When someone intervenes to pull her from harm's way, her subsequent behavior defies the expected. Her movements are erratic, like an NPC in a video game, eliciting a sense of otherworldliness. The question of what could be wrong with her takes center stage, prompting speculation about the potential factors at play. The trance-like state and subsequent peculiar behavior might stem from various sources. A medical condition, a psychological episode, or even the influence of substances. 
The footage leaves viewers in a state of bewilderment, grappling with the unsettling sight of a person seemingly disconnected from the norms of human behavior. Before we move on to the next video, just another reminder if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. I wouldn't want to send that Bigfoot after you. And don't forget to share with friends and family as well. Thank you very much. For those who do not know what a chupacabra is, it's a mythical creature that is known to drain the blood out of the livestock. And the one who sent in this next footage believes he caught one on tape. Take a look. Given by my description, you'd expect to see a creature on the hunt or one that looks intimidating. But instead, we're met with a creature that's deep into some serious plant sniffing. That's definitely not the behavior you'd expect from a creature known for draining the life out of animals. That leaves us with one question. What if we're dealing with a case of mistaken identity? Perhaps a herbivore battling the dreaded mange disease. That can make it look a bit more chupacabra-esque. The sniffing of plants will make sense if it's just a misunderstood vegetarian with a skin condition. What's your take on this strange-looking chupacabra, though? Tell us in the comments section. Embarking on a deep-sea expedition can unravel the mysteries hidden beneath the ocean's surface. For these intrepid submariners, however, their journey took an unexpected turn. In the murky depths, a webbed hand gracefully glides against the glass, unveiling a mesmerizing fishtail adorned in a luminous blue glow. The being's face makes a fleeting appearance, revealing hollow eyes that add an eerie touch to the encounter. The question echoes, could this be a glimpse of a mermaid, a legendary denizen of the deep, or something else entirely? The lore surrounding mermaids has survived for centuries, captivating human imagination with tales of aquatic beings embodying a fusion of human and piscine traits. Skepticism may cast doubt on the authenticity of such encounters, questioning whether the footage captures a genuine marine anomaly or an intricately staged spectacle. What do you think? What in the web is going on here? In this footage, you can see what looks like some sort of transparent cloth covering the trees. But no, my friends, that is a blanket of spiderwebs. You heard me right, spiderwebs. This phenomenon is known as ballooning or gossamer and is a behavior exhibited by certain spider species. During ballooning, spiders release silk threads into the air, and these threads can get caught by the wind, carrying the spiders with them. When many spiders engage in this behavior simultaneously, it can result in widespread webs covering trees and vegetation. This is often observed in conditions where spiders are seeking new areas or trying to disperse. For a minute, I thought I would have to get Tom Holland for answers. Who would have thought, right? Monkeys take a dip in the river. Now that's a sight to behold. This fella was seen swimming in a river. Who knew our tree-swinging friends had a secret talent for the backstroke? Turns out a lot of people, and this is actually normal for these species of monkeys. Nature never fails to surprise us, and apparently our primate friends are breaking stereotype and diving into the swimming scene. It's like they've got a whole new set of skills up their furry sleeves. So next time you're by a river, keep an eye out. You might just spot a monkey taking a leisurely swim, proving once again that nature loves to keep us on our toes. Nocturnal creatures have special eyes that help them to see through the night and also reflect light. So you'll often see a pair of eyes floating in the dark when these creatures are around. In this trail cam footage, however, people are unsure if the eyes belong to an animal or something ominous. In the footage, we can see an unsuspecting moose standing in a field in the dead of the night. Behind it is a woodland, but in the woodlands are eyes floating in the dark. They seem to be stalking the moose as it moves strangely. Nature enthusiasts and skeptics alike are left pondering the identity of these eyes. Some argue it could be the calculated gaze of a mountain lion or a stealthy cougar silently maneuvering through the shadows. 
However, the plot thickens as a faction of believers emerges, suggesting a more cryptic presence. Could it be the elusive Bigfoot lurking in the darkness and keeping an eye on the unsuspecting moose? Trail cams have captured quite a number of Bigfoot footage, and recent times have given us a glimpse into the lives of these elusive creatures. The next footage is no different. This trail camera captured three images of a spot in the woods. In the first two, everything seems okay until we take a closer look at the third one. Behind the trees, there appears to be a body standing behind the trees. A huge, furry body. Now, this could be anything at all. A bear, wolf, gorilla, just anything at all. Maybe a shadow even. But the trail cam owner is certain that this is a Bigfoot. What do you guys think? Is this the real deal or just one of those false alarms? A sea adventure meant for joy and exploration takes a perilous turn as tourists embark on a boat trip to the picturesque Blue Lagoon in Tanzania. The journey, initially filled with excitement, quickly transforms into a harrowing experience when the boat begins to flood midway. Caught in the unfolding drama, passengers find themselves clinging to the pillars of the boat in a desperate bid for safety. The relentless influx of water becomes an ominous threat prompting a collective effort to navigate the treacherous situation. Outside the boat, an onlooker captures the unfolding ordeal, providing a gripping visual narrative of the sinking vessel. The juxtaposition of the stunning ocean scenery and the imminent danger emphasizes the paradox of nature, its breathtaking beauty and formidable unpredictability. I never thought I would see these lights. We start off with a very debatable post. Have a look and tell me what you see. A two-headed deer, right? I mean, we can all see it, so what's going on here? Well, different people think different things. Some perceive it's an otherworldly creature that's trying to take form in our world, which is why it has two heads. Others think it's a skinwalker that failed to transform properly. There are also some who think that it might be an optical illusion created by the angle and position of the deer and then the photographer when the picture was taken. That sounds logical when you think about it, but then there are some who think that's not it. They believe this is simply a glitch in the Matrix. Frankly speaking, I can see where they're all coming from, but looking at it yourself, what do you think we're dealing with? Share your thoughts. We've seen our fair share of bizarre situations on the internet over the years. Some are carefully crafted, while others are very real. The footage we're about to see is one that's definitely gone down in history. In the clip, we see a man holding a peculiar looking creature. The creature has the body of a hen with white and orange looking feathers. Its face, on the other hand, tells a completely different story. It has the face of an ape. When I first saw the footage, I was quick to call it a hoax until I noticed this. As the body of the hen moved, the head still looked intact and real. There's no indication of it being a fake unless, of course, we're talking about CGI. A part of me wants to be excited about this being real, but logic wouldn't allow me. What do you guys think? Can we believe this is real, or is this an attempt by someone with good tech skills trying to lead us astray? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. In the heart of the dense woods, this curious, mysterious entity revealed itself. It's a creature that defies any known or conventional classification. With the body of a human shrouded in a coat of brown fur and the unmistakable head of a canine, this being bore the hallmark features of the legendary Dogman. As the camera zoomed in, the creature's form becomes more pronounced, its presence both mesmerizing and unsettling. 
The Dogman, a figure steeped in folklore and tales of the unknown, seemed to step out from the shadows of myth into the realms of the tangible, if only for a fleeting moment. The authenticity of such sightings often sparks debates. Does this footage capture a genuine encounter with an elusive creature, or is it an intricately crafted hoax designed to fuel the fires of speculation? It's always disheartening to hear about animals facing health challenges and a chronic wasting disease, or CWD for short and it's a particularly concerning condition for the deer populations. In this footage, a deer is spotted moving around, and it's not possessed but rather suffering from CWD, a neurological disease affecting deer and other cervids. CWD is a prion disease that impacts the brain and nervous system of deer, causing abnormal behavior such as this one, weight loss and eventually death. It's a serious concern for wildlife management as it can have significant impacts on deer. Ah, this poor deer. Venture into the mysterious realms of the unknown as we delve into an intriguing discovery by a Bigfoot research center. At first glance, the image reveals a tiny body reminiscent of a human baby, yet covered in a coat of brown fur that adds an uncanny twist to its appearance. The creature appears lifeless, leading all who saw it to come up with theories of what it might actually be. Skeptics lean toward the notion of it being a fabricated creation, suggesting that what they are seeing in the image is a mere human-made prototype a cleverly crafted creation that mimics the elusive figure of a Bigfoot. The paranormal society, however, believes this is real, and I must say I'm with them on this one. What do you think about it? The next footage was uploaded by a Russian YouTuber with the caption, Desert Fish. <laughs> I have believed a lot of strange things in my lifetime. Some of them were true and some are obviously false. But despite how easy it is for me to believe things, I find this a pill too hard to swallow. How do you tell me these are actually fishes swimming through the desert sand? If anything, they should have been cooked as they went through the hot desert sand, but that's not what we see here. The fishes are comfortably moving along the path with the men slightly ahead of them. Unless I'm just being ignorant, this may have to be something else, or perhaps CGI at its best. What do you think? In Alaska, a wildlife photographer came across a strange creature in the woods while on one of his usual photo escapades. Initially, he'd heard strange noises coming from the woods, so he began looking around with his camera, hoping to find the source. And boy, did he find it. There, among the trees, was a strange creature that did not look anything like the usual forest dweller. This creature was pale and had a hunch on its back. He only saw the back of the creature as it was moving further into the woods. My team and I are not entirely sure what we could be dealing with. I would have to say it was a rake, but they're not known to move like that. Skinwalker? Nah, I'm not sure. But what do you think? There have been strange signs in the sky from all around the Next, we have this alleged Bigfoot dash cam capture. And yes, I use the word alleged. Watch, and you may just see why. Do you see it? In the footage, we see a faint but very present figure moving in the distance as the vehicle is driving towards it. Within a few seconds, he disappears into the foliage. The individual driving is very convinced it's a Bigfoot and states his dash cam captured it. My problem with this is dash cams don't move around as they are stationary. Unless, of course, he's using some modern type of equipment. Looking at the quality of the footage, though, I can say I highly doubt that. What do you think? How far are you willing to go to protect what you own and love? In this clip, we're introduced to two bikers who are hanging out somewhere in the woods. Out of nowhere, a man drives in and then starts attacking one of them. 
The second panics, rides away, but soon returns to join in the fight. The aim is to help his friend. When he arrived, however, he too was attacked and given the same treatment. The video ends here, which has us wondering how the all encounter ended. It turns out the man was simply attacking them because they were on his land. Interesting, right? If this man proved anything, it's that he was willing to go so far to make things happen, but perhaps he was willing to go a bit too far. There have been strange signs in the sky from all around the world that sometimes make me wonder if the world is finally coming to an end, as we have heard a thousand times. In this footage, we see a strange slanted line of bright clouds across the sky. I must say it's a beautiful sight to behold, but at the same time, I can't help but wonder if there is something behind this. This could also just be a beautiful display of nature, but the human tendency to associate extraordinary events with the end of times is as old as time itself. So while the sky continues to paint its masterpieces and leave us in wonder, let's appreciate the beauty without necessarily jumping to apocalyptic conclusions. The line between fantasy and reality blurs in a captivating video that unveils what appears to be a lifeless dragon lying on the ground. While dragons are traditionally creatures of folklore and fairy tales, the recent surge in reports of strange creature sightings injects a sense of uncertainty into the narrative. The footage, though seemingly fantastical, prompts contemplation about the possibility of extraordinary beings existing in the world. Could this be a genuine glimpse of a creature that transcends the boundaries of myth and folklore, or does it perhaps unveil a carefully crafted spectacle, blurring the lines between reality and the fantastical? In this footage circulating the internet, the scene unfolds as an alien-like creature lies on a table, surrounded by scrubbed-in doctors engaging in what appears to be an autopsy. The gravity of the moment prompts a crucial question. Is this a genuine encounter with an otherworldly being or an elaborate hoax designed to captivate the imagination? Yet, as with many cryptic encounters, the authenticity of this footage is shrouded in uncertainty. The implications of such an event, if real, could be a monumental revelation that we're not alone in the universe. Skepticism, however, prevails as the mystery surrounding UFO sightings, abductions, and purported alien interactions persists. What's your say on the matter? Back in June 2023, this strange thing, if I may call it that, was spotted in the skies in Japan. It resembled a peculiar shaped mass of dark material suspended in the sky. Though static, it appeared like a blot on the clouds, despite not being situated within them. Instead, it floated independently in the sky. Some said it was some sort of alien structure, while others thought it looked like nothing they had ever seen. But still, this was an unusual appearance in the sky that has left a lot wondering if it is even safe to be around. So what's your take on this mysterious airborne appearance? Are we witnessing a cosmic art installation or maybe another worldly visitor? This footage captured a peculiar and beautiful sight as a mysterious light embarked on a mesmerizing journey along the horizon. This luminous apparition, adorned with an otherworldly glow, moved with grace and agility, its form shifting and morphing as if guided by an unseen force. As it moved swiftly, the contours of its shape transformed, creating an ever-changing spectacle that captured the imagination. Such sightings often evoke a sense of wonder and curiosity. The mysterious nature of the dancing light invites contemplation. Could it be a celestial phenomenon, a natural occurrence with a scientific explanation, or does it perhaps belong to the realm of the unexplained? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you've made it this far, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. 
Do you believe in spirit beings? You do? Have you heard of the Duende? If you haven't, you're in luck. Enjoy. Yeah, that's one of them. It looks like a mini-human, and the man recording is even shocked. For those of you that don't know what a duende is, it's a supernatural creature or spirit often associated with the forest. It's known for its mischievous behavior and is similar to other mythical creatures found in different cultures, like elves or goblins. Well, irrespective of whether you believe it or not, we are seeing one in this footage. The individual recording states it's Columbia, which is also known to have these creatures. So has any of you ever had an encounter with these creatures? Do you even think this footage is real at all? Share your thoughts in the comments section. We start today's episode with a mystery that's unlike anything we have ever showcased on this channel. Take a look. You see it, don't you? That's a plastic bag walking across the street. Even saying the sentence out loud makes it sound weird and doesn't make sense. But that's exactly what we're looking at here. The logical explanation would have been that the wind has something to do with it. That is, the bag's being carried by the wind. Looking at it critically, though, we see what looks like legs moving one step after the other. Could this be a coincidence, a function of CGI, or perhaps a paranormal being possessing the plastic bag? We aren't very sure, but everyone in my team is leaning towards possession. What about you? The clouds, usually ephemeral and whimsically shaped, have taken on an extraordinary form ascending majestically into the atmosphere like an otherworldly tower. The sky, once a canvas for the ever-shifting dance of clouds, now hosts this vertical anomaly, prompting questions about the atmospheric forces at play. As observers gaze upward, speculation and curiosity intertwine. Could this be a manifestation of meteorological rarity, an intricate interplay of air currents and moisture resulting in a captivating vertical display, or does it harbor a more mysterious origin, evoking the fantastical realms of the unknown? Hold on to your fishing rods, folks, as we cast our line into the riveting tale of a father-son fishing expedition turned heart-pounding encounter. The man went fishing with his little boy at a river. He handed the fishing rod to the boy while he filmed the proud moment when his son caught his first fish. As the boy was pulling his catch to the land, something unexpected happened. A crocodile emerged out of nowhere in pursuit of the boy's fish. The father acted quickly to ensure the safety of his son, rushing to pick him up and avoid any potential harm from the reptile. Unfortunately, the crocodile managed to steal the fish, but they at least got to keep their limbs. It's a wild and sad case, but we can't exactly call the cops on this guy. If you want to go fishing with your kids, stay away from dangerous waters. Glitch, glitch, glitch. If you've been on this channel, then you know how many times we have discussed glitches in the Matrix. But no matter how much footage we post, the list never ends. In this footage, we're introduced to a broken glass. Nothing extraordinary about that, right? But after breaking the glass, they try to put it back together like bits of a puzzle. You'd expect it all to fit together, wouldn't you? But no, it doesn't. When they invert it, which is the wrong way to put it back, then it fits. I mean, this shouldn't be a big deal, but it is. It's like meeting a man who shouldn't be able to stand tall, but he's not able to, yet can stand on his head. I know this illustration is extreme, but how else do you explain this? This is indeed a strange science mystery. If you're a bug enthusiast or someone with a curious mind, then prepare to be delighted by the whimsical world of caterpillars that goes beyond their crawling prowess.
This man picked up a caterpillar from its terrestrial abode, but unknown to him, he was about to make a discovery he never knew he would make. He accidentally pressed the humble and was met with a tiny squeak that defied the known and conventional soundtrack of the insect kingdom. Who would have thought that these seemingly silent creatures harbored a secret symphony within their tiny, segmented bodies? It's possible that the sound could be a defensive mechanism or a response to pressure, but without more information, it remains a curious and unexpected behavior for a caterpillar. Unless, of course, one of you can explain it all, to which we're all eyes and ears. Do you believe in legends? What about ones about the legendary Bigfoot? Well, if you don't, perhaps this might challenge you, or not. Take a look. In this footage, we're introduced to not one, but two ginormous creatures that are seemingly exploring the woods. They have obviously not noticed that they're being filmed, but looking at them, we can't help but suspect that they might be Bigfoots. According to the uploader, this isn't the first time he spotted these creatures. The area is a rumored hotspot for Bigfoots, and looking at their sizes, the gait, the fur, and all other features, I can see why even the paranormal community believes it's legit. But what about you? Do you believe these could really be Bigfoots? Let us know in the comment section. It's no secret that other entities roam the Earth with us, some disguised to blend in with the human population. But when we retire to beds at night, they seem to shed their camouflage. In this security camera footage, something bizarre happened. A person was seen walking across the street when all of a sudden he started to disappear from the legs upward until he was fully gone. What entity do you think that could be? Is that a ghost, spirit, or perhaps a demon? In this next trail cam footage, we're presented with another mysterious situation. Here we have a deer minding its own business in the woods when something strange happens. A ghostly figure appears from the darkness and approaches the deer. The apparition moved very fast and looked like smoke. As soon as it gets closer to the deer, it vanishes. Now I know we have people who would say it was probably just a fog, but did you notice the deer's ear twitch as it turned its head toward the direction the figure came from? Fog or not, that deer sensed something uncanny in the air. Do you believe in dragons? So before you say no, watch this footage. Yep, that's an actual dragon, or at least one that looks like it's emerging from the water. Although we don't get to see its full body, we can tell from just the head that it's a very big creature. Now the only questions we have is, is this real? And where was it filmed? Can this dragon fly? Can it breathe fire? Are there other types of dragons, and how have they remained hidden for so long? I know that's a lot of questions, but you can't tell me you aren't curious about them too, can you? If any one of you has more dragon videos, please send them in. We want to see them. Now here's a wild ride through the tales of Bigfoot encounters. Some chilling, others painting the creature as harmless. In this particular footage, an adventurous ATV rider hits the jackpot, getting up close and personal with Bigfoot at the far end of the river, and the creature seemed unbothered by his presence as it just went about its merry way. Perhaps it's used to seeing people, or it didn't think anyone would believe the man. Anyway, speaking of believing him, do you believe this is real? The resurgence of a creature long thought extinct unfurls in the mysterious photo captured in the Australian wilderness. In 2019, a curious man on a walk stumbled upon a strange-looking creature, a harbinger of questions that transcend the boundaries of conventional wildlife encounters. 
described as having a huge elongated tail and surpassing the size of a fox, the creature sparked speculation and led the observer to entertain the possibility that it could be a Tasmanian tiger. The blurry image, though somewhat reminiscent of the iconic extinct species. Now before we don our crocodile dundee hats and declare the Tasmanian tiger's triumphant return, let's consider the facts. The thylacine, as it's scientifically known, was declared extinct in the 20th century, and no confirmed sightings have been recorded since. So are we witnessing a Lazarus moment for the Tasmanian tiger rising from the shadows of extinction? In this footage, a group of divers came across this body in the depths of the ocean. While it's nothing new that some people do throw away evidence of their crime in the sea, this body they found, however, was a little bit strange. The body had a mask on, and when the diver went closer to take a look, the person's eyes were wide open. Was he alive? Well, that's hard to say, but if we are to go by logic, I'd say no. Given the way the mask was stuck on his face, it was almost as though it had been glued there. Could this be an elaborate prank by the divers, or are we looking at what could possibly be a crime scene? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. In the heart of the dense woods, an intrepid explorer stumbled upon a discovery that ignited a wave of speculation and intrigue. Here we see a skull that's unlike anything we know. The sheer size of the skull and its distinct features defy categorization within the known spectrum of creatures. As speculation swirls, some fervently believe that this colossal cranium belongs to none other than the legendary Bigfoot. The skull's proportions and the presence of elongated fangs add an air of mystery, fueling the notion that it might be a relic from the elusive creature that has long captivated the imaginations of enthusiasts and skeptics alike. The discovery leaves many questioning the boundaries of what we know about the natural world and pondering the existence of cryptids that may elude scientific classification. Imagine just taking a walk to clear your head one night when you run into this site. Yes, that's a woman draped in a flowing white robe with her hair cascading like a waterfall. As if the sight is not ghostly enough, you can tell that she's mysteriously hovering above the trees. It's a sight that defies the laws of nature, simultaneously invoking fear and fascination. The air becomes charged with an otherworldly presence as she floats serenely, seemingly detached from the earthly realm. Who is she? A spirit? A ghost? Or perhaps a witch? Each of these is a possibility, making the whole situation not just mysterious, but complex and leaving the observer teetering between the known and the unknown. This strange creature was found by some individuals at the seashore. It's round and puffy, resembling some kind of rodent. But here's where it gets weirder. It's got no head or tail, just a tiny leg and an opening on the side. What in the world could we be looking at? Is it a bizarre marine species, an alien beachcomber, or something else entirely? The lack of a head adds an extra layer of intrigue to the mystery. What's your take on this seaside creature? Next, we've stumbled upon an eerie encounter in the woods that could send shivers down your spine. James Jones, our intrepid YouTuber, recently took a stroll through the mystical forest only to stumble upon a mysterious figure that might make you question the reality of ghostly tales. In this chilling footage, Jones captured what appears to be a shadowy figure, standing stoically amidst the trees. The figure was wearing a hat that resembled the bygone era's military style. Skeptics might argue it's merely a tree casting a peculiar shape, but upon closer inspection, this figure looked darker than the trees around. Its humanoid appearance, coupled with an uncanny stillness, raises the hair on the back of your neck. Could this be one of the fabled ghost soldiers lingering in the woods? What do you think? Nocturnal creatures have special...
And for our final footage, we got a snapshot sent in by a subscriber from Greenwich, Connecticut. It's a close-up of a flower they stumbled upon in their neighborhood. Now take a look at this beauty. Vibrant petals, intricate details, it's a slice of nature right there. Makes you appreciate the little wonders you can find just around the corner. Any thought on what type of flower this might be? It looks like a burst of color in their everyday surroundings. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go with our popular trail cams you have come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel, tell us in the comments section. If you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also credit you with it unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.